Oh my god, I'm so tired. What up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Kristen and today I am showing you how to make the most amazing delicious matcha latte ever. I'm super tired. I normally have caffeine by now. Like I'd normally wake up and have my matcha latte, which definitely has a little caffeine in it, but I haven't had any yet because I wanted to show you guys me making it and now I'm like tired. So yeah, let's just make this so I can have some caffeine. I'm tired. Okay, let's start making this latte. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna add is a cup of heated water. I usually heat it to like right around 200 degrees. I have this like electric kettle, so I set mine to a specific temperature, but hot water right around boiling, but not super boiling. And then you're gonna heat up a cup of non-dairy milk. This is like homemade cashew and almond milk that I make every week and it's super delicious. So you wanna heat this up until it is hot, but not boiling. So a cup of that is going in as well. Okay, the next thing I'm adding is two dates. So I like mine a little on the sweeter side, especially if it's sweetened with dates. So if you don't want your super sweet, then use one date or you can also use like maple syrup or any kind of sweetener that you prefer. I have just found that I like it with two dates. The dates also give it like a nice kind of like thicker texture. They're nice and like caramely on their own. So they just add like a nice rich sweetness to the latte. Dates are also a nice thing to have in the morning because they give you like a nice little boost of energy. So another reason I like putting them in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add is some coconut butter. Not coconut oil, but coconut butter. This is like the whole ground up meat of the actual, like the white part of the coconut. So it's not just the oil, so you're getting all of the benefits of the actual coconut as well. The coconut butter is really, really good for you. It actually boosts your immunity and it boosts your metabolism, which can help aid in weight loss. And it just gives you some nice, good energy as well. So I love putting this in here. It tastes super good too. And it gives it like a nice, like thick texture as well. So this is like crucial in my matcha latte. You can try coconut oil if you want, but I would definitely recommend getting some coconut butter. But yeah, this is crucial. So I put about a tablespoon of that in there. I don't really measure, it's not liquid form, so at least it's not where I live, probably because it's still kind of chilly. I don't know, maybe it'll kind of like, it's pretty solid in there. Okay, so a t about a tablespoon of the coconut butter goes in. Again, that's just gonna make it like nice and thick and creamy and so good. All right, so the next thing going in is the actual matcha itself. And the brand I use is this brand called Wana Matcha. It is a local Boise brand, so that's why I like using it. I like supporting local companies whenever I can. So I use a premium grade organic matcha powder and you wanna make sure that it is sourced from Japan. And if you don't know what matcha is, it's essentially just like the ground up tea leaves from green tea leaves. So all the benefits that you get from green tea, you're getting those like times a bunch in here because you're getting like the actual ground up leaves and it's just a really, really fine powder and it's really, really, really good for you. I love matcha in the morning because it gives me just this like this nice sustained energy without any of the jitters that like coffee can give me. So I'll always have a cup of this and kind of start my day that way and it's just, it's just such a good way to start my day. So I also have a recipe for matcha like ice cream, banana and ice cream on my channel. So if you are interested in all things matcha, check that out because oh my God, it is so good. So I usually use about a teaspoon and a half of this matcha powder and I just take it and sift it into my blender so that any kind of like bigger chunks are sifted. <laughs> I guess that's what a sifter's for. If you're blending it up, you probably don't have to sift it, but I just feel like it helps for some reason. Okay, so after the matcha's in, we just have a couple more simple ingredients. So I like to use a little bit of turmeric. I fucked up my knee really bad in high school playing basketball. I tore my ACL amongst other things and have like really bad arthritis in my left knee. So I, anytime I can, add turmeric to anything that I have. And then I always add a pinch of black pepper if I'm using turmeric because the black pepper helps activate the turmeric. So just like a teeny amount. You don't want it to taste like pepper at all, but you definitely want to add a little bit if you want the turmeric to be effective. And then I also like to add a little sprinkle of cinnamon. These last few things are optional, but the cinnamon in there is so good. All right, and that's it. So the next thing you do is you just blend around up. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and put this baby on high and let her blend for about a minute and she'll be nice and frothy and thick and creamy and so delicious. Okay, after about a minute, she's all done. This matcha is a woman, apparently. Cause I keep calling her she. 
So that's it. That's everything. Everything's all nice and hot. Everything's already hot because you put it in here hot. And then everything got all nice and blended up. Now we're just going to pour it into a mug and drink it. Okay, I decided to get up on my countertop to try this for you guys. I don't know, it was the easiest angle. Anyway. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god, you guys. It's like my life force in the morning. Like, if I don't have this, it's like, I feel all out of sorts. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. I just love the flavor of matcha. It's like earthy and just tastes so good. Even if you don't like green tea, like, maybe try this because you might like it. It's so good. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did want to mention that this is like a giant mug. So if you don't want to make that much of a matcha latte, then you definitely don't have to. You can like cut the recipe in half or make it however big you want, but this will make like a big size mug of it. So it might be good for two of you if you just want a little bit or if you like a giant one like me, then make it that big. But yeah, I just, I just put mine in these really big mugs. So I like making that much of it but make however much you want and play around with like the the amounts of the ingredients and, and add things if it sounds good to you. Like I've been playing around with this recipe for like a couple months now and just finally kind of perfected the amounts and everything like that, but I still don't measure every morning. So yeah, that's how I make my morning matcha latte. I'm absolutely in love with it. You guys should totally try this because it is so, mm, it's like so good, <laughs> so good. The full recipe will be in the description. So if you need that, check it out. And it'll also be up on my blog soon too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vid. Sorry if I was like super tired seeming. I definitely maybe won't film a video when I don't have any caffeine in my system again. <laughs> that was a little rough, but this is gonna save me. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I'll just see you guys in the next video. Peace out.